Hey guys, what is going on? Thank you for joining. We're back again for another episode from Zero to Hero. Now, joins we are just about to start the league campaign. Um, as we said, we were joined after pre-season, so this is how it went. As you see, we played a lot of games. We played four at home, then four away, then another four at home, and then a couple of away to end. Um, mixed bag of results, a couple of victories, a couple of defeats, and a couple of draws. Um, all in all, I'm happy with how it went. We... Um, we played well in certain games. Obviously, last game we played really well in. Um, and we look like we're ready to start the league campaign. Definitely battle against relegation as expected. So we're going to go through all the, the ins and outs. So onto the staff screen. If you remember, this was totally empty last time. So let's go through them. KLM, sorry, KIL, second team manager. Get my mouth on that. 30 years old, so decent... Decent coach. Um, next one is the under nineteen manager. Again, fairly decent. Next one's my assistant manager. Um, so I'm happy with him. He's coming. Hopefully, he's gonna do well. The next one is the second team assistant manager. Again, fairly decent. Next one is the under nineteen assistant manager. Again, fairly decent. And then we've got our coach. Um, really happy with this guy attacking and defending. He's very skilled at. Um, so. Going to be useful. Under-19 coach. Again, decent. Then we've got our physio. Shocking. The best we could get. And then we've got two scouts. 11 and 13 and 11 and 12. So, I've added backroom staff. Um, you will see, by the way, that we still don't have a badge. I added the badge three or four times. And every time it came out looking shocking. So, I've had to just leave it, guys. We have got new kits. We're now sponsored by... Um, the Norway, Norway's version of the post office, um, Bring um, and Posten. So you'll see there, we're sponsored by them this year. Um, but yeah, let's go into the transfers. That's right, guys. A lot of deals. A lot of deals. We spent 5.25k. So we didn't spend the 600,000 we had. First guy for £95. Um, as you see, pre season's gone well. Um, <laughs> Fairly decent average right back. Um, he's coming though, just adds a bit of strength in depth. Goalkeeper, our new first choice goalkeeper. Not the greatest, but he's fairly decent. Um, he actually played for the club for quite a while. The next to play is a striker. Um, he is going to be our first choice striker. Um, he can actually play on the wing or in defence midfield, strangely enough, but he is definitely my striker. The next signing of that is a winger. Um, decent stats, a lot of good stats for basic wingers. Then we raided a club with a couple of signings. The first one is a centre-back. Really good stats, really happy with him. Hopefully he's going to take us to the next level. The next player is a centre-mid. He's coming as the third or fourth choice, but hopefully he does get some games. And again, happy to bring him in. The next one is a full-back. Um, he's going to be our first choice left-back because that position we're very, very weak in at the minute. So he's not the greatest, but he's better than we have. The next player is another midfielder. Um, he can play right-back, but more than likely going to be playing the defensive midfield role. Um, good player, so happy to bring him in. Another player, a striker. Um, another guy who's quite good. I'm quite happy with this guy. We're very short up front, so that's two strikers brought in. Um, both quite good quality and then finally is a midfielder who can also play at centre back um, not the greatest player but again we need a lot more strength um, and as you see our team is a lot bigger now it was very weak um, and just did not impress me that much um, but we are ready to go for today's game just making sure we're, the team is picked up oh, I just want to pick this guy out. He came through our youth recruitment. Um, for some reason, the youth recruitment in Norway happens in like March, um, halfway through pre-season. Um, and this guy's just come through and he's already four-star current. This guy's awesome. Um, I've already signed him on a deal for two years. Um, the hair alone is worth the deal. Um, so hopefully he's going to do well for us. Um, Finances-wise, we're losing a little bit each month, but hopefully we can obviously... Turn around once we start playing matches. But let's get into today's game. We are away to Rothfoss. One of the clubs where I actually think are fairly decent in this league. So it is going to be a tough tie. 
Um, yep, yeah, I'm happy with this. Let's get this underway. Fingers crossed we can get a victory here. I have the faith. Um, I mean, like I said, we haven't been overly consistent in pre-season, but we also haven't been poor. So I'm not going to st um, stand in for abuse at the team because we didn't do too bad. We just never really stepped under the next level type type stuff. Right, come on, I have faith in you. Let's go then, get a nice, nice victory to start this season. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I'm sure you guys would all want to see us win the opening game. I oh, know I definitely would. I think um, we obviously expected a battle bravely against relegation, but I think I would like to look towards promotion this season. I mean, we've got the financial backing to possibly... and oh, We've actually just gone 1-0 down. And we've got the financial backing to basically buy the players who start this league campaign quite well. The only thing I would say is players from divisions below are not interested in coming at them. And that's why we need to to start fairly well. And um, get a couple of victories. Probably going to be at home to start to build confidence up. Um, and just build up a reputation a bit so play, um, players actually want to come and join us. Because um, some players have got released by Eggerson whilst I was managing. Um, they're now playing in the 4th and 5th level. Oh, we gave penalty away. So I wanted to bring them up and give them a chance again at this level because they didn't do too bad for me in Season 1, for example. But they weren't interested in coming. Come on. Ah, it's 2-0. We're 2-0 two down. 2-0 two down. Now my assistant picked basically the exact same squad I would go with, that's why I just left it up to him today, just let him pick because we've been rotating so much in pre-season. Just making a couple of changes here just due to tiredness more than anything, isn't it? There we go, three fresh legs on, but it is, unless we can get a couple of dramatic goals quickly at back to back it's going to be a defeat to start the league campaign yeah, can we get a consolation no we can't no 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 well, that's disappointing disappointing defeat here I knew we would up against it with this the team we were playing, I'm still getting the familiar, still getting familiar with the players I've got. A couple of the players who are in the starting eleven might not deserve to be in there, but at the minute they still um. Oh look, Man United clinched the Premier League and the Norwich badge. Okay, makes sense. But let's see when you're going to come back and join us. So we're currently bottom. Things can only get better. Um, under the schedule, so fairly average game there. Um, John, I'm going to leave for the altar at home because their team I really rate quite highly, and I'd rather be playing the the good games. Um, so I'm going to get these games played off air, and you will join me for altar at home, guys. So thank you for watching. Um, we did have a tough game to start, so chin up. We're going to have a good season. I can just feel it.